Do aliens really exist? From peculiar paintings to strange skulls, let's look at historical signs that aliens really exist. Hey guys, it's Todd Green from The Trending, and I'm hosting Fact Nominal today. Check out my channel at the end of this video. Number 9. The Sego Canyon Cave Paintings Cave paintings in Sego Canyon, Utah, dating back to 5000 BC, clearly portray alien life forms with exaggerated eyes, antenna, and futuristic technology. These characteristics are seen consistently, spanning continents across the Earth, and are known as gray aliens. These figures were painted and passed down in the tradition of the Anasazi Native Americans who inhabited the land. In their oral traditions, these figures are known as star people. It is believed that these life forms came to Earth to bring life, knowledge, and order to the world. The gods the Anasazi worshipped, sun, fire, and serpents, are closely tied to the aliens contained within these paintings. It appears as though aliens themselves brought the snake to the people, and fire seems to be admitting from their spacecraft. It's even passed down through oral tradition that the star people bred with the Native Americans, which gave them the advanced ability to comprehend language and the written word. Here is the strangest evidence from the Anasazi though. The Aztec ruins, the Solomon ruins, Chaco Canyon, and Casas Grandes are all perfectly aligned on the meridian number 108. This means these settlements, which span over 600 kilometers, are all on a perfect lateral line of the Earth. This type of precision, coordination, and execution is impossible for such an ancient civilization, unless they had help. Number 8. The Mayan Astronaut Kainish Janapakal was the Mayan ruler of the Palenque from 615 to 683 AD. During his unusually long-lasting reign, Palenque blossomed as a city of advanced engineering, art, architecture, and wealth. It is possible this sudden spurt of growth and good fortune in the city was aided by other worldly friends. When archaeologists discovered the tomb, they made several shocking discoveries. To begin, it was very peculiar that Mayans built pyramids in the first place, just as the Egyptians had, even though the two groups had no idea of the other's existence. But it was the lid of the tomb itself that gave the most unnatural realization. Pakal is seen sitting on a monster of the sun, tilted back the way modern astronauts are in space travel to protect against fainting due to g-force. It appears as though it's ascending into space on a rocket ship he is controlling with his hands and feet. When you examine the language used by the Mayans language, monster of the sun seems to be their best way of communicating what a craft capable of flight would be. Namely, the monster describing the size of the vessel and of the sun describing the fire that is shooting out from the bottom in an attempt of propulsion. But here is the most intriguing fact. Though there were no signs of theft or damage to the tomb, Bacal's body was not contained within the tomb. Perhaps he left Earth to join his advanced friends. Do you know how to throw a party for an alien? You have to plan it. Number 7. Space Battle over Medieval Nuremberg A broadsheet, which is a medieval woodcut-style newspaper, released April 14, 1561, describes the events witnessed 10 days earlier by shocking eyewitnesses. In the article, strange flying objects with vapor trails are seen engaged in battle, hurling spears at one another, hundreds of flying crosses, globes, crescent crafts, and triangle-shaped speedsters were seen battling with what can only be described as missiles and torpedoes, although the citizens of Nuremberg would not have suitable terms to describe these things. The next day, a large black triangular object was discovered crashed outside the city. The people of the town, who were deeply religious, believed they were seeing a battle between angels and demons. A few have speculated that this was the byproduct of a spiritual realm, wherein people were seeing the future wars fought through a seam in dimensions. Even so, the disc-shaped objects appear to have the same recognizable measurements of the UFO crafts that have been seen and documented throughout human history. What kind of things do you think aliens like to read? Comet books. 
Number 6. Aliens of the Australian Aborigine Australian primitive drawings as old as 5,000 years detail giant figures with wide eyes, appearing to be the same great aliens that Mayans drew halfway across the world. Also, it appears as though they are wearing spacesuits and helmets thread seams being visible in the paintings where the technology wouldn't have existed in the era. Interestingly enough, all aboriginal cultures, Wanina, even though they were spread so far apart, it is unlikely that they ever crossed paths. The Wanina were believed to be spirits that visited you during dreams. They were one with the rainbows, clouds, rain, and thunder, all elements that come from the sky. In complicated ways, they were known to visit dreams so they could become humans in the wombs of women, which align with many similar stories of alien and human inbreeding. Number 5. The Nazca Lines the Nazca lines are giant motifs and images carved into the ground, known as geoglyphs. These mysterious patterns, which often represent nature on Earth, cacti, monkeys, whales, flowers, are primarily found over the Nacien territory of Peru. The lines also depict a humanoid figure known as the astronaut, who once again hearkens to the beings known as gray aliens. The lines also create unidentifiable depictions. Although they have been studied for a hundred years, no one truly knows the origin and reason for the Nazca lines. It is theorized that they were created by the Nazca people around 100 AD, but just like Stonehenge, it is not known how such a primitive people could accomplish such an amazing feat. The lines may have been used as an irrigation system or as a plea to the gods for good fortune, but they could also be signs of an alien invasion or an invitation for a return to Peru. If they were to come back, where do you think they would park their spaceship? At a parking meteor. Number 4. Puma Punku Scattered among the Puma Punku ruins in Bolivia are precious cut stones with perfect angles that allow them to interlock. To a modern day carpenter, this is nothing unusual. The problem is the technology to achieve this would not have existed until 14,000 years after the Puma Punku was built. No archaeologist or scientist have been able to factually explain how this came true. Perhaps the inhuman heads sculpted into the perfectly geometrical structures offer a clue. In the Puma Punku lore, there also happen to be a couple incredible parallels that suggest globe-spanning alien involvement in ancient civilizations. First, the people have stories of creation involving the creation of mankind, then the destruction of it via a flood. This is the same story found in Sumerian tales of the Anunnaki and also the Old Testament. These three distinct populations would never have known about each other, so the fact that their stories match up suggests an alien dictation of the original story. Second is a unique dish named Fuente Magna, covered in Sumerian writing, was found near the region. This is unprecedented because the two civilizations were 5,000 miles from each other. There is no way either had the technology to cross the oceans to share information. This leads towards the theory that aliens visited and gifted humans the technology of written words, among other things. What did the alien say to the gardener? Take me to your weeder. Number 3. Stonehenge and the Pyramids Stonehenge and the Pyramids, two of the world's wonders, suggest alien involvement merely in the fact that no one can explain how either one was built. The Egyptian pyramids, constructed around 2500 BC, are some of the world's greatest architectural achievements. Historians theorize that an ungodly amount of slave labor and simple pulley systems were used for construction, but no one is 100% sure. Additionally, it appears as though ancient hieroglyphs were seen carved into a rock on Mars, adding to the idea that aliens gifted ancient civilizations with language. As for Stonehenge, located in England, it's even stranger. At least with the pyramids, building momentum is going up as you are creating steps for yourself to place the next rock. Stonehenge, however, offers no explanation as to how these hundred ton rocks were lifted and placed on one another at an unnatural height. Theories involving aliens have surrounded the mystery of Stonehenge since its discovery, the most popular believing that it served as a landing device for UFOs. 
although it is one of the world's oldest mysteries. To this day, it has not been able to be explained, at least not by humans. Number 2. The Ancient Vijaya Nagara Vatsu Architecture The ancient Indians have a target on their back when it comes to the alien contact, simply because their technology was vastly superior to everyone else's of the time. The greatest example of this is the architecture contained within Vinaya Nangara. Again, it is unexplained how this ancient civilization could construct buildings with this amount of precision. The temples built by Hindu gods are done through specific designs laid out in the Hindu text known as the Vatsu Satra, which may yet be a blueprint handed down by aliens. Some are constructed in the vein of Vimana, a mythical flying palace that looks oddly like a saucer. Huh, I wonder where they got that idea. Theories around the Indians also involve their gods, which some believe are actually aliens who visited them through new technology and were in turn worshipped as deities. Number 1. Paraca Skulls In 1928, in Peru, archaeologist Julio Talo unearthed several humanoid skulls with elongated heads. The shape of the skull is a mutation, seemingly to distinguish a completely new creature, distant from Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. Upon seeing the skulls, researcher Brian Foster is quoted saying, I am not sure it will even fit into the known evolutionary tree. Skeptics will argue that the skulls could be cranial deformation, a common practice of South American tribes. But if that's the case, the world has never seen an instance this severe before. Regardless, DNA testings reveals these beings were not 100% Native Americans. If these are not alien skulls, it is possible they are a crossbreed of human and alien life. Do you know why Mickey Mouse went to space? He was looking for Pluto. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and check out this other video on the trending.